Hi, welcome or welcome back to Lena My Name, Luna the Moon, Lena Luna's channel. So today we're reading for Kenny and she is asking whether she will get together with the person she's in uh, involved with soon or in like 2021. So yeah, we will look into that. But before that, I will just disclaim that I am not a professional reader. I am trying my best. And um, especially with online and everything, it's hard to get your energy right. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest. I hope that it resonates though. And please communicate with me um, with whatever you think about the reading. Uh, it will be very much appreciated and yeah there is that um okay let's move on to the reading so the tarot card here is is that four i think it's four four of cups it's a four it's a four right i'm still trying to learn the roman numbers four is this four Yes, it is four. Oh no, it's five. Oh, yikes. I knew it's something like four or five. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. So the card here is five of wands, five of wands, five of cups in reverse. And the meaning of five means conflict, loss, or chaos. And cups means emotion relationships intimacy and or creativity and it's a water sign so maybe one of you or the both of you or maybe that's not relevant are water signs water signs are cancer scorpio and pisces and their characteristic are cold wet and soft yeah so from this, I don't get a good vibe from it because five does signify conflict, loss, and or chaos. And it is a very gloomy card. Just look at that. Like, it's all the very cold, dark colors. And these, like, the, cl the cups are, like, some of them fall, felt, like, are fell down and then it's splashes of something red that looks like blood i don't know if someone is someone's death involved is someone's injury involved are there some accidents involved that evoke this conflict i'm not sure but this conflict seems to be something that will be like a turning point for the relationship if you guys can get through it, then the relationship will become stronger, whatever it is. Like, um, maybe from a friendship to, like, a romantic relationship. Or it will just be, um, like, it's basically a make it or break it. Like, it will be stronger or it's bye-bye. Um, yeah, that. And then, let's look. Uh, and this person also has their back towards us so then that's like they have something to focus on instead like look at this it's like another land so maybe they also want to move places i think and that can possibly be further away from like not because they want to get away from you but like they uh them moving away of course that will impact your distance as well so maybe there's that in mind uh to pursue some kind of things maybe but yeah that's all i have from this visual elements let's get into the divinatory meaning this card looks like loss but it is more the emotional reaction to loss. There is a mourning of what is gone in isolation and isolation. The natural desire for privacy with one's grief. Hold on. The natural desire for privacy with one's grief. 
two upright cups shows that something still remains, something that can comfort and sustain when the time is right. Finally, there is the path back to community, connection, and what we may think of as normal everyday life. The advice is to take the time to process your feelings because that is the only way to return to normal life. But know that even normal life will be different now. Our first is obsessing about the past, self-pity, and repressing grief. So what I would like to say about this is that like since the advice is about like the advice for the reversal is about being obsessive over the past. I would just say that like my own input you can ignore that, but like everything happens for a reason. Like it's all like of course free will exists, like you did something, but then and then there will be a cause, but then like the uni universe also is there to look over you and things are meant to happen. Like even though some things may be shitty, but it's for a reason. Like don't don't just think of the bad side. It's to help you to grow stronger and things like that. So like just it will take time. Of course, like you need to like be sad about it, embrace it, and then grow up. But like you can't just ignore it and like uh and run away from it. That's just not okay. But um yeah, like you need to be able to embrace the fact that this happens this happened and that may possibly uh help this relationship grow okay anyways let's move on to the oracle card have faith in your dreams so it looks like it's a possible thing because as the card said there's still two cards out right so there's still feelings that's there so as long as you like remain consistent and believe in your dreams like of this relationship this relationship's manifestation things like that it will be fine okay let's go into the actual definition of this card don't give up the situation you're asking about is still taking shape you are nowhere near the end of the story whatever is happening now is just a step along the way as they say in the self-help classics everything will be okay in the end if it's not okay it's not the end however the waxing crescent moon is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want if you can't take practical steps Spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your next best step. Best, next best step. Overall, this card suggests that there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situa situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. The tune to the moon is that I am focused on what I want. Additional meaning is that just because you can't see your dreams right now, it doesn't mean that you're not manifesting it. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forward. Being patient as events unfold. Dig a little deeper to find more courage. And the teaching is that the waxing cr crescent moon is the second moon face in the eight main moon faces. But even if it's not the time of the waxing crescent moon when you pull this card, it still suggests that you need to really pursue your dreams. It's a time to put your foot down hard as you chase these goals. But yeah, that's the end of the reading. To sum it up, I think that you have hope for this um, relation to manifest into, into like a romantic relationship, depending on what you do here. Like, this is saying that it's possible. But, like, still, like, a reading is all about, like, the current situation. Can't really, like, because things are ever-changing. But saying that it's possible, it just depends on what you do. You have hope. You have the two upright cups. So, just cling on 
do the right thing, embrace the things, and be positive. And things will go your way. But that's it for the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider commenting, liking, and or subscribing. I'll share this to your friend if you think that um, they would enjoy it as well. Like, maybe not this link if you want to stay anonymous, but my channel. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, I hope that you can communicate to me about your thoughts on this reading. But that's it for today. For uh, That's it for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.